All right. Well, uh, good morning, everyone. We're back again. Up here comes the creature. How you doing, Salsa? You doing well? Just want to touch base because you guys might remember his Playmobil box. I, uh, a lot of people said that actually Playmobil stuff is worth a decent amount. So I went ahead and took out oh, this one. I took out all the people. So there's animals, there's people, there's accessories. Salsa's now chewing on a cardboard box. Probably, I would say, about 50 bucks worth, $60 worth. Uh, unless there's any rare ones, but uh, thanks for people to uh, who let me know. But we are off to uh, run some errands. I gotta meet up with Box Truck Guy, long legend of the YouTube channel. People might have been here for a while. Yeah, he need a bubble wrap. So uh, driving to Allentown, going to some thrift stores, and meeting up with him or one of his kids. So we are onward. Let's get into it. Let's see if we can find any steals and deals. This is sort of interesting. It's a rugby jersey. 2019 there's a couple of listed on ebay for like 40 50 bucks but uh none have sold and i'm thinking like it's i wouldn't say it's an off brand but it's not a brand that's really well known here in america i don't even know if it's high quality or not but can't go based off what things are listed for just because they're listed high there needs to be a demand as they say there needs to be a demand there's a handful of under armor stuff here also it's one of the craziest things when I was in high school. It's just, you can never ever buy Under Armour because it was just introduced. You would never see it at a thrift store, never. Um, now it's everywhere. Scooped up one sweatshirt or one sweater. This is one of those. Yeah, it is. Is that trend ever going to come back? The uh, the double. I don't know what you even call it. The double stitch. Definitely not double stitch. Oh wow! Talk about something that's probably expensive. One of these guys. That's. I don't know if that's for football. I would think it's probably for football. Got this extra padding right on the ribs. These were kind of cool. They're only seven bucks, but it's one of those things like, who's going to buy that? You know, to me, I think they're neat. They're not that old, considering I think they're recycled. So, like, when did recycling really become a thing? They are metal, though. Um, I think they were they were just trash cans. That's a tripod. If they're just trash cans, I'd probably buy them, or at least buy one.
Hmm. I actually found a really, I thought it was a nice painting. I think it needs a frame. Good luck finding a frame for it. Um, I found a really cool, I forgot the topic. What's the topic? What's or what's it called? Contemporary uh, painting here. And I took it to Lamberville three times and never sold. So I thought it was cool. Apparently it wasn't. That's a print. That's another print. If you've never driven over one, they're really, really neat. Thrift store is packed with stuff. I mean, they got a lot here at this Goodwill. Usually you don't see that a lot at thrift stores. Sometimes they're really empty. This is kind of neat. It's still in the box. Fortunately, these don't sell too well. Shipping would be an absolute pain. Who knows if that thing's going to survive. But yeah, Pyrex in the box. How often do you find that? Not too often. And then if you get really feisty, you can get yourself a aluminum sandal. I guess that's more like for a beach house. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Should hand these out in the parking lot. That's a beauty. That's got to be vintage. Everyone needs one of those. Oh, now they're selling these in the package. Wood slice coasters. $4. Wow, is that crazy? Oh, it's broken there. This is a gorgeous piece. I would love to find this in the trash. That is awesome. Wow, great display piece. I just don't see the hype. We only got one white one left. Just stopped off at the hardware store, aka the post office. Wow, is that crazy or what? People getting in big fights over that thing. So I successfully dropped off the bubble wrap with box truck guy's son, EJ, as we called him back in the day. Um, and I stopped over here in the post office. And uh, I, I, I can't, I don't know if any of you have relatives or maybe you're about the hype of the Stanley Tumblr, but I just don't see it. It's kind of like the Hydro Flasks. Remember when Hydro Flask came out? There was a huge hype for them and people were getting huge fights over them. I've heard stories about these Stanley Cups at Target and Starbucks and all sorts of places. I'm staying away from them. Staying away from them at all. Also, I don't know how it would really fit in my cup holder because it has that handle. I don't know. Not for me. Okay, so back at the establishment. Well, this shirt was supposed to go in that bin. Uh, all that Fiesta where I don't know where I put it. Someone actually told me what it was actually called. I need to bring that roll down to the house. Anyway, this is Fiesta right here. The Fiesta where they had at Lambertville. I don't know, I just stepped on glass. Um, did not sell. Um, I don't know where I put it. I think I put it on the other side of this. Yeah, here it is. I think that's... Yeah, that's it. Um, it didn't sell. So, I know it was a weird day that day. I saw a lot of people also mention how they live in New Jersey and a lot of the towns were washed out. So, I understand things kind of just happen. Gotta love this old uh, old flea market stuff. Look at this. I think this is a candle holder. It's very interesting. It has 10 cents on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and take off that 10 cent sticker because I'm not going to say I think I can get a dollar for it. But 
I'm not selling something for 10 cents. Those days are long gone, I think, at flea markets. I don't know if you can really do quarter stuff because then you have to pretty much sell all quarter stuff. You can't just have, have a box. The psychology of a, of a flea market is interesting. I guess you, you, you know what I see a lot happen uh, at a Lee Sport? A lot of people do like everything's three bucks for the first hour. Then after that, everything's two dollars for the next 30 minutes. And everything's a dollar for like the next two hours. And then they say two for a dollar or fill a box or fill a bag. That's generally how these flea markets kind of work with the junk crowd. Wasn't I talking about this the other day? I have a blue one over there. I think I said that mine was, was purple or orange. So put that in that box. This plate gets thrown out. That gets thrown out. That will get scrapped. I did want to come up here and get some garbage done. And the reason why I say that is because my garbage goes out in a couple days. I don't know if I'll be back up here in a couple days. It's a Baltimore Ravens mug. Somebody might want that for a buck. That one now. These glasses were whole box for 50 cents. And they are really, really dirty. that guy the little cleaver I've never seen something like that it's like a, a cleaver that's tiny huh it is uh, made in Taiwan I'll put it aside I'm not gonna I'll probably scrap these because these are disgusting but this one's you don't see that a lot I can put flea market junk into this. I don't think any of this costume jewelry is gold. Get a little quick look. A lot of it says 25 cents, 50 cents, 5 cents. Not too long ago, I was actually at a yard sale and had a bunch of costume jewelry that was marked 5 cents. And I think I bought like every single piece because I was like 20 pieces for a dollar. I think it's worth it. Um, but one thing's kind of funny, dump into this guy right there. Hey, look, a floor, usually you find these Florida, this is a bowl, you usually find them in plates, those decorative Florida items, collectibles. Um, what was funny is the other day I was looking at the price of gold. Look back at price of gold, like the eighties and nineties and compared to today. Talk about an investment opportunity. Completely missed the boat on that one, right guys? Uh, what else? Oh, I was going through this box right here. Yeah, because I was figuring this is... I need to get rid of this lid. It's causing issues. It's duct taped on. So it's nice about what I'm doing now. Are these all those bells? This might be more bell stuff. There's like three boxes of bells. And I think I mentioned it, and I had a lot of people also say how bells sell very well. I don't know. I mean, I would, I would buy these back in the golden age when I first started doing flea markets, and I seen a box lot of 
20 or 25 items in it, I was like, I'll buy it for two bucks because if I can't sell it for a dollar each, there's something wrong. And I do remember buying a whole bunch of bells. And as I was, as I remember, I don't think I sold even five dollars worth. It's a nice crystal one, looks like. Can't go wrong with some bicentennial. If you ever see that eagle on it, you can almost guarantee you're going to see 1976 also on it. I think the move with doing this. I don't know if I should keep all the stuff wrapped up. Probably not, because if there's stuff that's actually valuable, it's not just bells. You're probably going to want to see them, both selling-wise, buying-wise, YouTube-wise. keep losing my glove. You ever see me like kind of like hold the glove or do this? It's because whenever I hold the camera, I can't hold the camera with some of the gloves I use. They're too heavy. They're too too wide. There's too much material on it, and it covers up the, the microphones on the camera. So I take the glove off, and then I kind of just do it one hand. That's interesting. It's a glove on a – or it's a, a bell on a stand. But there's other oddball stuff in here, like this thing. Which I know I didn't show because I don't think I've ever seen one of those in my life. But yes, it's more, more bells. And even more bells. Wow. I just hope someone buys them. I know someone out there is probably interested in them, but I don't do what not, so I can't really help you out too much. Just one thing that I was thinking about maybe doing this year is what not. Yeah, a lot of people ask me to buy stuff on my channel, and I just say, like, I'm so busy, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. I was gonna kinda tone it down this year a little bit, and maybe just focus on YouTube. I think whatnot would be kind of beneficial, but I don't know. It seems like it's a lot of work. In fact, that's why I went to meet Box Truck Guy's kids. It's because they need a bubble wrap because they saw on whatnot. This whole thing is just looks like bells to me. I'll play the odds and think that almost everything else in here is bells. So this box will then get placed most likely into the flea market pile, my flea market. So if somebody wants to dig through and you find something really good, make sure you show me. Or you can probably buy a mystery box here for 10 bucks. I'll be happy with it. Considering I think I spent, what, like, uh, what did I spend on that unit? $100, $110? And I sold a couple things out there for 30, 40 bucks a piece and the copper that big copper like uh, trellis looking thing, I think I got $24 in scrap for that. So that was a decent chunk. That probably covered my buyer's premium and sales tax for the purchase, which if you don't know, if you buy these storage units, generally speaking online, there is buyer's premium and sales tax. So just more of a, more things to buy, more or more money to spend. Decided to knock out one more box. And yes, we have more bells. I wonder if this is something the flea mar or the uh, thrift store wants. Tell you what, they don't break. Great Smoky Mountains. Uh, never mind. Let me take that back. There's a huge crack in that one, so that will just get tossed. A couple other pieces of glassware down there. I don't know where that uh. That one box of Pyrex went. I know I did get one box of Pyrex out of that unit. It's probably somewhere in this pile of stuff. Anyway, clean this up a little bit. And hopefully remember to take that roll of bubble wrap down. Like I said, it's... I've been going through a ton of bubble wrap the last month or so, so it's nice to have all this stuff. 
um, but I have a lot that are just still just all flawed. Like this one has all this extra plastic there. Like this whole chunk is just junk. These are good rolls. This one over here is junk. And I say junk because it's like I can't sell this for what I sell bubble wrap for. You know, people are just not going to be happy with it. And the one thing I don't want is someone to buy it. And then a month later, two months later, you know, see me and they need more bubble wrap and be like, I'm not going to buy that bubble wrap from that guy because last time I bought it, it was complete garbage. So I'm not buying it because that's that's how I buy too. Like if I buy something from you, especially if you have a lot of it, you kind of wholesale it. Um, I just won't be bad. I won't buy it again. There was a guy who used to sell tape at my flea market. Some of you guys might remember that. He used to come with a truckload, and I mean boxes and cases of this tape. And it was really cheap when he first did it, and then he raised his price to be like, you can go to Dollar Tree and get the same tape for the same price. Uh, but it was such a great deal, and I thought it was a great buy, and I, I bought it. First time, it was all right. The second time, it was like complete trash. I threw it all away. Threw away like maybe 5 or $10, but I threw it all away, all the tape. Never went back and never bought it every time he came back because I was like, it's junk. So that's why I don't want to do with the bubble wrap. So if you're wondering why I have like seven rolls of flawed bubble wrap up here, it's because I just can't sell it. I don't want to clog up my house with it. But uh, this pile is slowly but surely going down. I was going to move this box also because that was the one we kind of just looked at. Uh, so that will get put onto that pile. And... Uh, just moving stuff. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Another daily vlog in the books. Not sure what the next video will be. But hopefully it will be something fun. Might be a rummage sale. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for tagging along. Thanks for joining me on my daily adventure. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.